interior of Circle K convenience store. We suggest him stand there pouring two coffees. Inside the microwave next to him is two breakfast burritos revolving around a glowing tray. Behind him, unbeknownst to him, through the plate glass window, we see a barren desert suddenly become a little less barren as one, two, five, ten, fifteen people stand up at odd interspersed distances away from the Circle K. They're wearing a mishmash, odd assortment of clothes as if they've been found, as if they've been borrowed, maybe stolen even. Nothing matches, nothing seems to be meant to match. It's just who they are, for all intents and purposes. They look like the homeless. They probably are, by our standard. Peter turns, he pays for his food, he exits the Circle K. He walks right by one of the men standing near the pavement. He doesn't notice him, just as we tend not to notice those people we don't want to see. Instead, he goes to his car, but he does notice that on the side of his car appears to be urine dripping down into a pool beneath. He looks around and spies a coyote about ten feet away. Taken aback, he drops his coffee, he drops his burritos. The coyote lunges forward, grabs one of the burritos, and takes off, but not before Justin tries to kick it. When he does, he hears a kicker and you die. Justin turns around and spies Craven for the first time. Craven, six feet tall, aging hippie, long black hair, salt and pepper. He wears part of a wedding dress in blue jeans, something borrowed, something blue. They begin to talk, and thus Justin begins descending into a world inhabited by the homeless, by where coyotes, and by questions that he is unable to answer, questions that revolve around, is it so important to be human? Nature was never meant to be a capitalistic union. Nature is a commune. Nature is where everybody shares, everybody's together, everybody's one. Human nature is more individual, more solitary. It's a choice. He has to make it. He can't go living as, as he is living, but he has to make a choice. And it's through that crucible that he will come out the other side, either whole or broken. <laughs>